Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily create the monthly and annual time series chart for air quality parameters for nitrogen dioxide. So I'll try to explain all of details step by step. I hope you also try to follow this step and then you are able to create this type of monthly time series chart of air quality parameters such as nitrogen dioxide as well as also annual time series chart so let's go i try to explain all of details step by step then i hope you can easily do this type of work so first of all here you can see this is the basically this is the annual annual average map for nitrogen dioxide concentration so red color indicating about that high concentration so if you check this is the result for 2025 this is the result for 2024 this is the 23 22 21 20 19 and 80 okay so this is one kind of layer it's distributed the density and you can see this is the time series chart for annual average nitrogen dioxide micromole per meter square unit so you can see 2018 we find out the 214.381 micromole per meter square also you can see so this is the one kind of annual time series chart as well as you can see this is the monthly time series chart for the january 2020 then also you can see the this is one for january 2022 so this type of time series chart how we can easily create and this type of chart you can also use in your research paper for also you can use the presentation you can also download the csv file from here for time series data and also download the photo or png file format okay so let's go so first of all um you need to import your study area so in this case i just import the study area from the region i put the variable name is the region and then this is my study area so for this study area i want to make the time series chart monthly time series chart from 2019 to 2024 okay so first of all i define my name um, basically month name list i define in here and then i simply make the list of year so i need the result for 2019 to 2024 just i put this sequence and then we create a function for each year monthly calculate okay so for each year suppose 2019 all of month i calculate then 2020 all of month average nitrogen dioxide i calculate 2021 all of month average value i calculate 2020 all of month average value i calculate so for these things i just use a function so this function basically help me to compute the average monthly value for each year so for that we just uh, create a function variable name get monthly no2 and then we create a function the i put the function key element name is year and then this curly bracket i put my argument so my argument is that i create a collection and each month i calculate the average value so this is my main target so first of all i define the year and i simply put the start year and in year and this is my image collection for nitrogen dioxide. I put the study area in here and filter bounds with my study area. This is my band. And I put the month basically 1 to 12, January to December, it included. And then calculate the monthly data. So for the monthly data, I calculate the monthly each month average. So I put here the mean average. And for calculating this value, we are using here the reduced region function. It's computed the uh, a specific boundary for calculating a statistical value such as mean average maximum minimum so i calculate the mean okay just put here the mean then a scale and base report we put the true for the big study area and also use the max pixel for the big study area okay then we find out the mean value okay so we can get the mean value from this band this is our band name and we compute these things as a micromole per meter square to microgram per meter cube so for that we need to multiply with the molar mass nitrogen dioxide so this is the molar mass value uh, 46.005 
this value when you, when you multiply then we can get the result uh, in micromole per meter square to microgram per meter cube okay and then we just simply convert the month now 1 to 12 to index 0 to 11 so then simply subtract 1 then it will be convert month number 1 to 12 to 0 to 11 index and then we just simply check it and then we just map the all function of the years so just simply connect okay just i simply call the years and connect with this function so now years basically each year it compute the all month values okay i just create the flat list so put here the flat end so now when i got my data if you just print the data suppose just use here the print function and call the all data variable just i call and run it so now it computed all of data okay for each year so we find out the 72 element and you can see the all of data suppose you can see the properties we find out the year this is the 2024 month february and this is the value this is the average value in february in 2024 so when i got this type of value then i can easily make the time series chart so in this case we are just have a group okay you can see it's a one kind of group so for that we need to use the ui chart feature dot groups function and in this groups feature basically all data and from here we put the x property x property basically i want to display for this type of month name okay month name january february march this type of month name and y property basically it show about the no2 value no2 value just i put here the no2 and i also put here the month name and sys property we are just put the sys property basically it's a er okay and chart type i create the line chart and put the title other things so further if you check the chart then we can easily get uh, this type of chart okay so this type of chart we can easily find out so from here you can easily download the png file format and also download the csv file format so this is the way to create the monthly time series chart you can also apply these things for any other data set to prefer the monthly time series chart look like that it also okay there is no problem i hope this tutorial is also enjoy and if you have any question just simply make the comment i also give the answer in the meantime i also give you an announcement for our timing online training program so basically this class will be start from that uh, 11th april so now this registration is open so basically in this online training program if you have no knowledge about the coding mainly javascript or python or if you have no knowledge about the google earth engine i hope after completing this online training program you are able to do any types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently using the google earth engine so you can easily check all of details from this website this website link i also added in the video description you can check all of course contents all of syllabus okay and when you join you can get some benefits such as you can get the course certificate after submitting all of assignment you can get that all of materials mainly slide or pdf you can get also practice code you can also get the recorded session uh, you can also get the lifetime testing support regarding this online training program if you face any problem anytime you can get the support freely as well as research collaboration so if you if you publish any scientific paper regarding this type of topic then you can also get the collaboration and also public the scientific paper so if you want to join then simply contact in my whatsapp number and also contact with this email further book your seat and join our upcoming online training program on 11th april today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe